Hello, Ken here today with Ultralight and today I'm going to show you a new product. So I don't have my happy shirt on, I have it sitting here, but I do have a shirt for the Villa Kiki which is an awesome trip to go on. If you've never been, it's a once in a lifetime trip so you got to do it at least once. So anyways, we have a new part here and this is something we've been working on for a while. This is going to be a kit. It's called a TR-SLDK, which is a sled kit. And you're probably wondering, what is a sled? So this is the concept right here. There's rails, brackets, and a, a, a plate underneath. You can put a large camera on there. We also have another kit to add on, which will be, it's a monitor bracket for a large monitor. But here are some of the setups that have gone on to this kit. And we've been working on this off and on for probably the past year. And uh, right now it's looking really good. So anyways, what you'll get in the kit is you're going to get two TRSBLD trays. You're going to get one tri tray. And normally this has three bolts going into it. I just removed the center one because this one you will not need and it's just a spare. Uh, you're going to get a bag of parts and there's extras in here and we'll show you in a minute how to do that. And then you're going you're gonna to get four of our TRHB brackets. So I consider that TR heavy duty bracket. And the original bracket we were using is a TRLB, which I'm calling a light duty bracket, which has many other uses, but this bracket is way too small and light for this kit. So these brackets now are made out of uh, three by four by quarter inch thick angle aluminum. There's no way they're gonna bend. So you could, you could do whatever you want, put as much weight on this, you're not gonna have any issues at all. So anyways, the first thing is you're gonna get all the parts. You're going to cut the bag open of all these parts and we'll come back to you in just a second and show you how to assemble it. So to assemble the kit after you take everything apart, the bolts and everything, you're going to end up with two different size socket head cap screws. So the socket head cap screw uses an Allen wrench. This is 5 8 inch in length. This is 3 quarters inch in length. So the four shorter ones are going to be used to mount these brackets through and into this plate. And the reason they're shorter is so when they're tight, nothing will stick up past this plate. So it's not going to interfere with anything mounted to the plate itself. You can, so right now I have it so you can slide it here. You could always move the bolt into this section and then this whole piece will slide even closer in if you need to have that. But it's nice to have a little bit of a, a stance to it to give it a little more uh, stability. The longer bolts, there's four, there's an extra of each one. Those are what you're going to use for this right here. So this would be sitting on the ground just like that. As you can see, right in here, there's another hole. So there's three holes. Right now I'm using the second hole. I put it in there. And once we're done, so you can slide these all over. Once you're done, you'll see how you can move everything around. If you wanted this a little taller, then you would move this bolt to this bottom one, raising this bracket up a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and put this stuff kind of together right now, and then we'll come back to it and check it out. All right, back with it all put together. So after you put it together, you should end up with a spare long and short bolt, two extra washer, flat washers, two extra lock washers, and this captured bolt with these two plastic washers. So as you can see, I haven't tightened it up yet, but you can move this all around. You can slide these rails however you want, back and forth. So basically, 
this is how everybody's been using it so far. Uh, and then we'll just tighten it up real quick. Like so. Put that one in there. Like so. And like I said, you can take this. You can move it around however works. The reason you can move these around too is trim. Um, if you want, or if you want it to sit a certain way with a dome, maybe you want these forward and you have a big dome in the front. It's, it, there's so many different ways you can do this. It will be, uh, it'll all depend on your situation and what kind of equipment you're using. So that's, that's the tray. And as you can tell, I'm like about 180 pounds and that thing's not budging. So you could get a lot of weight on that and you're not going to have any issues whatsoever. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a big camera housing and I'll come back and show you how to mount the camera housing to the tray itself. All right, we're back. And for right now, I have, this is an older Nauticam housing. This one actually only has one hole in the bottom, but the housing itself has like a rubber mat or pad on it. So one, the one bolt here works great. What I did was I had to take the two bolts that were here and here out. And there are threaded areas on each end of these slots here, 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 and here that you can unthread this right out and pull it completely out. And then I just threaded this one back in the center. So this is how you would have it. And if you had handles on there, you can set it down. It's really nice and stable. Uh, and when they're all in trim, uh, everybody who's been using these have these housings. Everything is pretty much right on uh, neutral buoyancy. So they're just sitting in the water column and they can just like push it with their fingers and it will just kind of move. Uh, the nice thing about this sled setup is there's all kinds of areas to put quarter 20 uh, threaded like a ball mount if you want. You can mount all kinds of buoyancy to the to here you can mount arms we have somebody putting legs coming down to make this more like a tripod um, there's so many different variations and things that you can do it all depends on what you might feel the need to have to do underwater and uh, how you how you put it together there's also uh, the slots for three eighths right now, we're actually working on a, a weight system that slides in these slots so you can get trim. And we also have uh, another kit that will add on to this. This is a monitor bracket kit. And what some people are doing is the big Nauticam monitors. Of course, this is very small. This isn't even Nauticam, but it gives you a sense uh, idea of what, what it's going to look like. You can put a large clamp on here, a long clamp, and you can mount this monitor right off this bracket, whatever angle you want. And with the T knob that we have on here, you can slide this quarter inch, uh, quarter 20 ball wherever you would like. It's real easy. You can get it with your fingers real good. And so you can adjust that all over, depending on the size of the monitor. Uh, you can also turn the monitor this way if you want the camera and you're swimming this direction with somebody or actually <laughs> the lens is here you're swimming this way you can have the monitor like this so you can look at it so you can see what's going on so there's all kinds of combinations um, if you have any questions whatsoever feel free to give us a call if you don't feel like you want to put this kit together and you want it completed, let us know. We'll be happy to put it all together for you as well. Uh, other than that, happy filming and have a great day.